Mary Magdalene is a kind of odd figure in the New Testament. She has come down to us as a Reformed prostitute. And the odd thing is, there's nothing in there that indicates she was ever a prostitute. Um, a lot of people have postulated either a romance or even a marriage between Mary Magdalene and Jesus. And there's no evidence for that either. I think the odd thing about that uh, relationship, the reason people want to get sex in there, is that even in the 21st century, we still have trouble with the idea of a man and a woman having a completely platonic relationship. We have trouble with the idea that Mary Magdalene was a close friend of Jesus's, a follower of his, a student of his, but that they didn't have any sort of uh, sexual liaison. And but that appears to be what the New Testament actually says about that relationship. Because there is no indication that she was a prostitute. There is no indication of a sexual relationship. There's an indication of a close relationship. But there is not one of any type of romance. And we kind of want to get a romance in there. You know, that kind of tends to happen in movies a lot. You know, you see a man and a woman, and they kind of dislike each other, but they dislike each other in that special way. Ah, they're going to get together. They're going to, you know, get married, or at least get in bed by the end of the movie. And we're actually surprised when that doesn't happen. Uh, that's one of the oddities that Detour did on us. We were kind of expecting um, the man and the woman to, you know, fall in love, but they didn't. But anyway, getting back to Jesus and Mary Magdalene, I think that this is a character that needs to be seen as she was portrayed in the narrative. And she was not a hooker. And she was not Jesus' girlfriend or his, um, or, or his wife. She was simply a student or a, cl and a close friend and, you know, maybe even a financial supporter of his ministry. And that's really all that the narrative allows us to see about her. Hope you like that. Bye.